Well, welcome aboard, fine crew of the SS Genzennial. This captain is honored and humbled by your participation. The topic for today is the claim that Donald Trump flushed so much printed paper down the White House toilet that it required servicing on multiple occasions. Several times, Maggie? This was something that they would, they would periodically find this to be the case. This revelation, although quizzically unsurprising, has resulted in what I believe to be false hope. Clearly, this yep. is trying to hide information. Yeah, I don't, Brianna, I don't want, I don't want to you, say okay, clearly, I don't want to say clearly, I don't no, know fair. what his motive is. All right, I understand right. you're not saying that, Maggie, right. but this is highly unusual. I hate to burst the bubble of the majority masses, but I predict that Donald Trump did not flush protected material down the toilet. He did indeed flush torn up printed paper. Yes, he's that kind of crazy. Don't talk to me that way. You're just a, you're just a lightweight. Don't talk to me that way. But we will likely learn one day it was simply the daily news. Trump, the ever boomer, was routinely given printed news articles from the internet. Trump, being the child-minded buffoon that he is, receives satisfaction from putting bad news articles where he thinks they belong. Again, that kind of crazy. I know more about ISIS than th the generals do, believe me. Let this premonition be accordingly documented for posterity. Unlike the 15 boxes of classified and top secret material Trump unlawfully held from the National Archives. Crew dismissed. I need some alternate theories on, on the topic for this evening. What documents did uh, Trump flush down the toilet? Now, if you, missed the, if you missed the beginning, I predicted that if we do ever find out what they were, it's going to end up being press news clippings, essentially. Uh, Trump had this system that he used, being the boomer that he is, of having internet news articles printed off for him so that he could read them. And he also had a, a, a habit of tearing up shit. So, you know, I can see Trump just getting all pissed off at, you know, whatever, you know, fake news he was reading. Ripping it up. There's plenty of reporting that he would rip up papers and put them in his pockets. I imagine, uh, with his kind of skin, it was, it wasn't classified material. It's going to be press clippings. That's, that's what Trump was flushing down the toilet. So, you heard it here first, and hey, if I'm wrong, it's right here for the world to know. All that talk about Hillary's emails. Lock them all up. All his staff was using Signal to communicate, WhatsApp, personal emails, personal cell phones. It's just, uh, you know, I mean, we've known all this for forever, but it's just another layer on the seven layer salad. <laughs> We're at like a 77 layer salad now. The 77 layers of hypocrisy of Trumpism. It's plainly obvious that people like what people like that do is they accuse other people of what they are actually doing. He's a walking projection. A walking, talking, nutter projection. I don't know why our system has taken so long with this one. You know, it's unprecedented. Everything that's been happening for the last, you know, since... You know, he wasn't really involved with the Benghazi stuff in Hillary, but, you know, that ties right in to the, the 77 layer hypocrisy. They're all pleading the fifth, you know. Hillary went in 11 hours. His, Trump's Justice Department cleared her of wrongdoing other than neglect. But here we are. And the world just eats it up. They eat it up. I don't know. I don't know why half the world doesn't have a problem with lying and hypocrisy. You know, it's the same, you know, loudmouth liberty lovers who have been screaming about lying government and how many of them can jumped on that train it's it's uh it's befuddling it's befuddling to me 
thank you everybody for the very engaging conversation tonight so uh any feedback you guys have any ideas any thoughts about uh what to talk about you know bring them to the table uh as long as it's on youtube i don't i'll react to it and as long as uh it's an idea or a concept i'll give my opinion and i'll give the weight of my opinion too so always fun philosophizing and 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 trying to work this stuff out thanks for hanging with me this time this captain is honored and humbled you stayed for the entire video please do not forget to like subscribe and follow to secure your position aboard the SS Genzenio in future endeavors to save humanity. Christmas!